How's it going, people? It is Liam Caddison here, and we're reacting to another episode of the book of Boba Fett. As we get into episode number two, we had a really great introductory last week as we found out how Boba escaped the Zarlacc pit, um, something that is now 100% uh, canon after, of course, um, we've had legend material um, explain their interpretation of how Boba escaped, um, but also the idea of trust becoming a very prominent theme, uh, not just in the flashbacks, but in present day as well. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this episode, so let's get into uh, episode two of the Book of Boba Fett. This one is about 50 odd minutes long, so that's uh, really, really great because I know there were a few complaints uh, last week about episode one being a bit too short. So, uh, yeah, with that said, let's get into episode number two of the Book of Boba Fett. Let's go. This one will talk. I know of their reputation. They're just people. It hope. just makes the whole no information talk. extraction process no more interesting. Fine. Perhaps he fears the rancor. Oh shit! I was sent by the mayor! The mayor sent me! Let me out! Of course. I was gonna say, the Rancor can't be alive after all this time. Assassin of the Night Wind. <laughs> it's a mouse. Shall we visit the mayor? I regret to inform you the mayor is indisposed for the rest of the week. Oh, well, the mayor will be indisposed in a moment. Here is restricted. No, you're not. Boba, it's no shit. For the intrusion. Terribly sorry, dear eminence. Who is this? Running a family is more complicated than bounty hunting. Is that it? Go to Garza's sanctuary. You'll see what I speak of. I feel like it is that female that they met, and, uh. Yeah. Because I said I didn't trust her. I don't care what your tablet says. This is Mos Espa, and I am Daimyo here. Whoa. <laughs> Oh shit. Holy shit! All that is his belongs to me now. Your sister is right. If you want it, you'll have to kill me for it. <laughs> Pry it from his cold dead body. That Wookiee is just... Uh, <laughs> he'd be like, sleep with one eye open. You definitely want to let the Wookiee win. <laughs> oh, this Wookiee win, should I say. Are these the same bandits that Boba saw last week? Shit. Oh. Yeah, someone's definitely going to get their asses handed to them. Shit. Just finding their own business and they just got innocently... Damn. I'm not gonna lie, you feel so bad for the Tuscans. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Hey, they killed innocent, so you we can the rule books out the window. <laughs> A gift for you. Oh, 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 I will teach you. 
how to ride. I will teach you. Like you're teaching the him. This is how we will stop the train. This makes it stop. Go stop. Is it going to be a bit more of a difficult time? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, who wants to go first? I love this. Sit. Baby steps, isn't it? And I'm gonna lie, this is so cool to see. <laughs> ourselves a train heist? Let's go! Woo yeah, throw him overboard! That's what you get! My goodness! Good on you, Tuskin. Good on you. He's gonna get fried. Oh, one toasty Tuscan coming up. Shit! Go on, Boba. Blew all your resources, it's going into over. <laughs> I'm out! Tell my wife I love her! <laughs> it's from the slave mines of Kessel. What does France look like? <laughs> this is not looking good for you. We thought you were uncivilized raiders. We were trying to protect our route. You don't even know them! No harm will come of you. We will die of thirst without our water car. We will give you each a black melon. We'll survive on its milk, as these people do. Now go. Appreciate that, because you lacked it before, so... Take the courtesy. So lost. You shouldn't have to hide. You are warriors. Just trying to survive. They're just trying to live. A lizard. Thank you. Somewhere out there, Dr. Connors is just like. I will let it guide me. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn, that spice is really, really good. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, wow. Like the Zalek pit. Wow. 
not the pl most pleasant vision quest method. I just love this union though. So good. So good. So good. Just gives you more of an appreciation, though. That's it. Like, I feel like um, episode one of season two of The Mandalorian gave you a bit more... Well, not just that, though, but throughout The Mandalorian, they gave you a tinsy morsel of um, <clears throat> appreciation. But Boba, the Book of Boba Fett's really doing wonders in terms of building that reputation and uh, not just that though but showing of course how boba managed to survive all this time so so again really appreciated this episode especially the um world building that we're doing um i do feel like there might be some people who might feel like this is going to be a bit slow but also you got to remember that this is not going to be a replica of the mandalorian um they're going into a completely different uh, kind of shift and and uh, it's very appreciative, especially just looking at the Tuscans and um, just showcasing how some like uh, some of the tribes out there are just trying to live their life and uh, just be at peace. And uh, there is this discrimination, really, uh, in regards to um, all of them, I guess, being viewed as these savage warriors when there are only some tribes out there who resort to killing. But um, at the end of the day, these Tuscans are out there to to survive and uh the tribe that boba is with um they are just doing that they were just like training boba and you saw um i think they are the um uh pike syndicate yeah um you saw them just shoot them just for no reason just minding their own business and then yeah so um you do have a grasp on how um, uh, how these tribes just survive and mind their own business. Um, some, of course, are a bit more uh, ruthless. Um, so, yeah, but um, you you even hear the chief just say that um, some Tuscans are just focused on, on uh, murdering, etc. Um, so, yeah, it's not like, uh, for example, you could reflect back to episode two, for example, and uh, think about Anakin and how he, uh, how his actions are even worse, because uh, that tribe probably was one of the more infamous ones, whereas it's not going to be exactly like, like not all tribes are going to be as ruthless. They are just minding their own business, but they all defend themselves that they have to which is fair enough um so yeah and uh, this is the the tribe that is basically one of the more benevolent ones uh given the chance given the uh, a fact of, tr of truce and the fact is that um there is that hesitation when it comes to uh, other um i guess species because of the i guess discrimination that is placed on the tuscans because uh, they don't know if these people are going to you know attack or whatever so and as we've seen with um with boba he is offering to help them out in any way, shape, or form, and uh, there is a bit more of a trust, and they are welcoming him, and as we've seen in this episode, they've basically inducted him into their tribe, so... Um it's really, really great to see, but it's also very sad as well, like how the Tuscans... Uh, just, just to see that more, uh, like, I don't know, empathetic level for the Tuscans, uh, because... Um, we see, like I said, going back to the Pike um, Syndicate shooting them, um, they just minded their own business and they just lost a few lives only because of this discrimination. So, and I really loved how Boba, after the whole tra uh, train heist sequence, um, said to them, uh, we're going to leave you alive just to show that we're not all um, ruthless, as you depicted them to be, as you have discriminated them to be. Uh, we're going to leave you alive, but do not, don't even think for a second you can pass uh, the Doom Sea freely, okay? So, 
Um, I really loved how um, Boba dealt with them and um, um, not just not just dealt with them in a more civilized way, but also um, gave Tus- the, the Tuskids a bit more of a hope because otherwise uh, they would just be at it shooting free range at them because they can. So um, I really loved how uh, Boba um, really utilized that. I guess vengeance, but like I said, in a more civilized way. And if they attacked, well, they're gonna um, they're gonna pay. And uh, once the train stopped, any survivors were told where to go. And uh, um, obviously, with uh, with the Tuscans minding their own business, it, this was not gonna be left uh, unjustified. So um, the way that Boba handled that was just really, really well. Um, but also, it just made for a really, really great um, train um, sequence, like a train heist sequence as well. So, um, yeah, like I said, there might be a bit of a <clears throat> a slow um, build as the episodes go on. But I feel like, uh, especially with the flashbacks to the Tuscans and how there is a bit more of the civilized... Um, relationship with Boba and the Tuscans, uh, that's going to be kind of implemented with the present day sequences, especially since Boba has everyone on his back. I mean, we had um, we had those guys in the last episode and they were dealt with, but also we had the Hoods come back, which is really, really great to see, as well as a, uh, a bad ro- uh, Wookiee as well. So uh, yeah, you definitely want to let him win. Um, and obviously, I feel like they're going to be utilized in future episodes, but um, I feel like what we're seeing with the Tuskens and the relationship that Boba is is building with them, I feel like that's going to be uh, probably instrumental in terms of creating a bit more of a benevolent atmosphere because um, it seems like with with um, Jabba ruling with fear and um, um, Boba saying he's planning to rule with a bit more respect and uh, Bib Fortuna not exactly um, helping matters, um, there is a bit of that hesitation with uh, all of the uh, politicians, all of those who are uh, who um, are after Boba's back and. Um, I feel like it's going to be very instrumental in in showcasing um, these ways are like the ways you're accustomed to. They're long dead, and now I'm trying to show a bit more respect, a bit more of a um, of a I guess a, un- a union with you guys. So yeah, um, so yeah, I don't obviously it's it's nice to fill in the blanks about what happened to Boba in between uh, I guess Return of the Jedi and uh, episode 1 of season 2 of the Mandalorian but I also feel like I said it, I also feel like it's um um setting things up for what's going to happen in the present day sequence further down the line especially since we had a big big focus in the past in this episode so yeah but um it was really really great um <clears throat> i really really did like the um the um bandits that we saw in the last episode being dealt with um and um yeah just just showcasing uh, just showcasing to uh how just Boba is not willing to take any shit. He was just, he just waltzed in there, kicked ass, took a drink, left, stole some bikes. And um, not just um, are we getting a bit of a appreciation into the, um, into the Tuscans and their way of life, but also we're getting to see them appreciate technology. We're getting to see them, um, adapt to something that they're not really accustomed to because <clears throat> their way of life um i need a drink of black currant in a moment but um their way of life that they, they haven't really adapted to um uh, speeder bikes or technology they they've just been minding their own business especially because um people are going to react in a bit bit of a hostile manner if you know a tuscan wants to approach them or, or something like that um so they have to be very very defensive in a, in a sense and you have boba um as much as they are um training him how to i guess adapt to their ways you have boba um training them into a uh, kind of an adaption to what he has been accustomed to so there is that uh, appreciation so it was really really great and there were some funny sequences um in terms of boba uh, treating uh like training the tuscans into 
you know, how to use a speeder, etc. But um, it's really, really great to see. And um, like I said, just the whole vibe, learning a bit of the history of the Tuscans is, is just really, really nice to see, as well as the whole um, vision quest that Boba went on, which was really, really well um, shot. Um, even if the like i guess the initiation process was a bit gnarly with the lizard yeah um it was a really really um cool shot sequence um just with the blending of camino the zarlacc pit etc so um yeah it was really really well done but um yeah i really really um loved how things padded out um in the present day and the flashback sequences and um just getting a bit more of a, an appreciative vibe over the Tuscans and um, um, with them having to adapt to technology because Boba gave them that gift, of course, um, but also just learning a bit more about them and having a bit of sympathy for them. So, yeah, it was really, really great stuff. And, yeah, just I loved... I am really, really loving um, um, just everything regarding the show at the minute because whilst... It might be a bit different to The Mandalorian. It is world building and it's, um, you know, fleshing things out, especially with the Tusken Raiders. Um, and uh, it's it's just really, really cool to see. So I am really loving how um, how we are getting a bit more of this focus with Boba and his time and and. Not just that, though, but a bit of development with the Tuscans as well. So, and uh, learning how different um, some tribes are to others, etc. Um, and um, how that might translate well with the political kerfuffle uh, in the present day. So, um, yeah, but uh, really, really enjoyable episode. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!